Okay, hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.2 from Sadiku book and the question is find V1 and V2 from this circuit Okay, let's see what we got here So this is V1 and this is V2 uh, We have our ground here, so the voltage here will be 0 Okay, now we have two nodes here maybe it's better if we assume the direction of the current okay let's do that okay i will follow this direction of the current source so here that will be going there and here the current will be going there and for the other currents i want this to go down maybe this is going down and this one is going down and for this one maybe we should draw it going right you can assume uh, arbitrarily uh, but be consistent when you solve the problem so let's do KCL at V1 and V2 so the first one maybe let's do KCL at node V2 okay what does KVL says KVL says that the sum of the currents that going in is the same as the sum of the currents that going out okay let's do add V1 first not V2 okay let's do V1 okay here we have four currents going out one two three four and there is no current that going in so i just put zero for the current that goes in and for the current that goes out we have first is this six ampere current source so i will put six there and then this current here that will be plus V1 the difference of the voltage V1 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them so this is 10 ohm so let's do 10 here okay for this one we got similar calculation so I will have V1 minus 0 divided by 5 and we still have one more currents to go so i will have this v1 here minus v2 right so v1 minus v2 divided by the resistance between them so that is 2 ohm okay now let's do some mathematical manipulation to simplify this one so i will have 0 is equal to 6 and v1 minus 0 is just v1 over 10 and then plus v1 over 5 and plus this one will be v1 minus v2 divided by 2 okay now what can we do from here maybe i want to move this to the left hand side so i will have minus 6 here but i want to write it right there so i have minus 6 there and i will have v1 over 10 plus v1 over 5 plus v1 minus v2 divided by 2 okay so now maybe we can multiply both sides by 10 maybe okay so i want to get rid all of the denominator here so here we have v1 plus 2 v1 and then plus 5 v1 minus 5 v2 and that will equal to minus 60 okay now i will have v1 plus 2 v1 plus 5 v1 that will be 8 v1 and then minus 5 v2 and that will be minus 60 
Okay, we have this linear equation with two variables. So let's save this. Maybe save this as equation number one. Okay, now let's do another KCL at V2. Why? Because we have two variables here, but we only have one what equation. So we need one more. So let's do KCL at not V2. And let's write out what KCL said. So I'll have the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Okay, now let's do, let's observe the circuit. Okay, the current that goes in, I see one, two, three currents that goes in. The first one is this six ampere. So I will write it six from here and then three. So I have plus three and then one more this one plus so for the current that pass through this two ohm resistor we have v1 minus v2 divided by two okay this is the current that going in and only one current that goes out so this one is going out right so i will have v2 minus zero divided by the resistance which is four okay what can we do from here yeah we should simplify this right six plus three is nine and then plus v1 minus v2 divided by two and that will be v2 over four right so now I want to get rid of the denominator and we can multiply this maybe by 4 right so yeah let's just put it here maybe 4 multiplied by 9 will be 36 and then plus 2 v1 minus v2 and on the right hand side i only have v2 right so now let's simplify this 36 plus 2 v1 minus 2 v2 that will equal to v2 then i can move this one to the right hand side and write it as what i will have 3 v2 right 3 v2 and i will have minus 2 v1 and that will equal to 36 okay this is our second equation so let's have this as equation number two okay now i have this is the first equation and this is the second equation what can we do from here yes we can do substitution or elimination so let's do that maybe i should copy this one first okay let's let's select this one equation number one and equation number two okay let's copy that and move on on the next slide Okay, so now I have these two equation that we need to solve and we will get V1 and V2 from here. Right. Okay, so let's make this tidier. Okay, now what can we do from here? I want to get rid of the V1 first. So let's multiply this by 1. So I just need to copy and paste this. And let's multiply this by 4. Why? Because this is minus 2. If we multiply it by 4, we'll have minus 8 and they can eliminate each other. So let's copy this one. Here. 
here because we just multiplied by one and then for this one i will have minus 8v1 plus 12v2 and then what is 36 multiplied by 4 that will be 144 and we can just add them okay so what can we do here minus 5 plus 12 will be 7 v2 and 8 my plus minus 8 will be cancelling each other and on the right hand side i will have what 84 right 84 and that makes v2 is equal to 84 divided by 7 and that will be 12 volt so this is the value for v2 we still need to find out one more which is v1 we can substitute this v2 into equation number one or equation number two maybe i will choose to substitute it into number two so i will have minus 2 v1 plus 3 but v2 is 12 so i'll have 12 and that will equal to 36 okay so what can we do from here yeah we'll have minus 2 v1 plus 36 is equal to 36 right and we can move this 36 to the right hand side so minus 2 v1 is equal to 0 or v1 is equal to 0 4 and i think this is the answer for the problem 3.2 so this is v1 and this is v2 hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation uh, see you in the next video bye bye